हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक अगेन आई एम हेयर टू टेक ए नेक्स्ट सिक्वेंस ऑफ द लास्ट वीडियो फॉर जेनेटिक्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मोनो हैब्रिड क्रॉस इन द मोनो हैब्रिड क्रॉस वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अबाउट द हाउ द प्लांट शो दियर जीनो टाइप एंड फेनो टाइप एंड हाउ द गैमिट क्रॉस टूगेदर टू फॉर्म आर एफ वन जेनरेशन एंड वॉट विल बी द प्रोडक्ट इन एफ वन जेनरेशन एंड वॉट विल बी द प्रोडक्ट इन एफ टू जेनरेशन एंड वॉट विल बी द नंबर एंड टाइप्स ऑफ गैमिट इन एफ टू जेनरेशन एंड देयर रेशियो ऑल्सो इज इट ओके जस्ट सिमिलर फॉर द मोनो हैब्रिड क्रॉस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द डाय हैब्रिड क्रॉस इट इज एज सिमिलर एज मोनो हैब्रिड क्रॉस बट द सिंपल डिफरेंस फॉर मोनो हैब्रिड क्रॉस एंड डायब्रिड क्रॉस इन द मोनो हैब्रिड क्रॉस वी टेक इन इन द सिंगल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स वाइल इन द डायब्रिड क्रॉस वी विल टेक अ टू कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग कैरेक्टर ओके दैट इज द टू कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग कैरेक्टर दैट मीन्स इफ द one characteristic is height and the second characteristic is shape this is two different characteristics or character for the plant like height of the plant what will be the height and what will be the shape of seed what will be the shape of fruit that is the difference that is the two character we can take it any kind of two different characteristics that is color shape size height anything which you have which you can take okay now in the height we have already seen there is a two tail and dwarf and that is the capital t and small t that is dominance and recessive form just as similar for the height i am here take a shape of the seed that is round seed that is denoted by capital r capital r and it is dominance dominating form whereas it is the wrinklet form small r and small r and it is recessive these two characteristics and contrasting character we are taking here okay so a plant having round seed suppose a plant having a round seed or the plant which is tall that means tall plant with round seed crossed with a dwarf plant with wrinkled seed these two character we are taking as a single so can you tell me what is the this what is this this is physical appearance or external appearance that means it is phenotype it is phenotype is it okay it is also a phenotype suppose it is male and it is female and dwarf plant with wrinkled seed it is also a phenotype and what will be the genotype for these phenotypic condition the genotypic condition for this two characteristic will be capital t capital t for tall plant and round seed capital r capital r this is the di hybrid cross is it okay is it clear whereas it is also a genotype small t small t small r small r is it clear now here it is the reduction what will be the reduction of t t r r why we are taking as a simple t and single r because i told you in the last video this is the t and this is r as you know in the last segment of the video you have already seen about the number of gamete and types of gamete suppose it is tr it will be tr 
इट इज टी आर एंड इट इज टी आर ऑल आर सेम टाइप ऑफ गैमेट ऑल आर सेम टाइप ऑफ गैमेट दैट मीन्स द रिजल्टेंट विल बी सेम फॉर ऑल दिस गैमेट फॉर्मेशन दैट्स वे वी आर ऑलवेज टेकिंग अ सिंगल इन नंबर इज इट क्लियर द नंबर ऑफ गैमेट विल बी फोर फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ जीनोटाइपिक कंडीशन बट वी आर टेकिंग एज अ सिंगल इज इट क्लियर जस्ट सिमिलर एज फॉर दिस रिडक्शन विल बी स्मॉल टी एंड स्मॉल आर जस्ट लाइक दिस इज इट क्लियर ना नाउ द क्रॉसिंग बिटवीन कैपिटल टी स्मॉल आर एंड स्मॉल टी स्मॉल आर इट विल बी फॉर्म अ प्रोडक्ट can you tell me why we are not right here like this capital t small capital r and why we are not right in this form here because it is totally wrong because as you know that gene always present in a pair form and allele always together in the same locus that's why the same characteristics for the same characteristics of locus will be combinedly together on the same points that's why it is the allele for what tallness and it is also for the height of the plant that means it is a character for height and it is also character for height that will be combinedly together on the same locus that's why we always take in a capital t and small t and capital r and small r is it okay now what is this this is f1 generation this is f1 generation can you tell me what will be the name of this reaction and what will be the phenotypic what will the phenotypic of this genotype if this capital t dominant of her this t that means it shows tall and this capital r dominant over this small r that means it also so what round seed that mean the phenotypic for this reaction will be we can write here hetero hetero tall with hetero round or round seed is it okay now that is the phenotypic for this genotypic reaction genotypic representation is it clear now my dear listen one more time this is capital t and it is the dominant over small t that's why it shows the tallness of the plant it doesn't show the dwarfness that's why it's considered as a tall tall whereas it shows the round because capital r dominant over a small r that's why it shows the round it is just similar as the parental character of this is it clear is it clear na okay now what will be the constitution and what will do for the obtaining the f2 generation we always you have to always remember one thing for the observation or for the obtain of the f2 generation we have to doing a selfing so it is selfing is it okay this is selfing and it is the f1 generation and i told you earlier as similar as genotypic condition crossing together is called selfing and what will be the gamete formation that means reduction or gamete formation what will be the gamete formation in this case in the last video i told you how we can obtain the types of gamete you always write a capital t and a small t at separately and these two 
R may be crossed with capital T and for this also that's why this will show capital T small r this will show capital T small r small t capital R and small t small r is it clear any problem no then how will be crossing together this is the possibility suppose this gamete can be crossed with these all four types of gamete that means four types of gamete will be crossing together to form a fourth generation and four 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 that will be too complex in the simple crossing so just because of easier calculation we, we should and we always take another punnett square box in the last video i have also give you a formula for the number of punnett square box so can you tell me the how many number square box will take in in the dihybrid cross you can see in here but you have to remember formula which i gave you 4 to the power n where n is number of cross that means monohybrid cross dihybrid cross that means here we can take the 4 is to 2 that means 4 is to 4 that means 16 here the 16 box are completed why this extra box is here so i am taking here the extra box just because for the writing this capital t and this capital t this capital t and small r small t small capital r small t small r this is also capital t capital r capital t small r small t capital r and small t small r can you write these different kinds of genetic representation you can write on your notebook you should pause this video and you can write all the crossing over towards this gamut i am giving to you a simple example just it is it will be the capital t capital t and capital r capital r so fill this fill this 16 box totally after that we will discuss here you can also write in your notebook okay i am doing my job i am doing my my own box so it is a capital t capital t capital r small r it will be capital t small t capital r capital r it will be capital t small t capital r small r it will be capital t capital t small r sorry capital r small r write this all this write all this square box here i completed my square box so you can match this square box this is as similar as or not so this is the product the number of product will be 16 in f2 generation this is the product how many number will you found 16 number of product that is the product here the most important factor and terms comes from what will be the phenotype and genotype and which kind of phenotypic or genotypic ratio take place here can you tell me the which kind of phenotype takes place here look at this the first genotype will be suppose it is red or it is round yes it is or not yes it is red and round can we write here result
red sorry tall with round tall with round this is tall with round and this is also tall this is also round this is tall this is round tall round and what is this and how many look at this how many number of tall and round are formed in f2 generation i am giving a simple symbolic representation for better understand suppose i am giving here the triangle triangle for tall with round can you tell me it is tall or not yes it is tall and just because of dominancy over this small cap small t r this is also tall and round that means tall and round it refers to a triangle yes it is or not yes it is also dominant over small t and it is that means it also tall and round it is dominant over this and it is dominant over this so it is also tall and round it is a simple representation symbolic representation for better understanding okay what will be this this will also tall and round yes that means triangle and what will this tall round or wrinkled yes it is tall or it is wrinkled that means it is different from this here we are going to represent as a different symbolic representation here the another phenotyping takes place that is tall with wrinkled wrinkled is it okay and what is this this is tall this is round that means triangle or not yes what is this this is tall and this is wrinkled that is tall and wrinkled it is represented as circle are you understanding or not okay what will be this this will also tall and round that means triangle what is this this is tall and this is round tall round and what is this this is the different phenotypic ratio from the others because it is dwarf yes it is dwarf that means the next dwarf with dwarf with what it is round na it is round so dwarf with round and here we can represent in a star okay so it is dwarf with round what is this this is dwarf na small t small t small t small t dwarf and what will be this this will be round dwarf with round that means the representation by star what is this tall and round tall and round that means triangle here representation also this is the circle na yes it is circle and this is shown by star marker and what is this this is tall and wrinkled that means circle and what is this this is dwarf and round that means star and what is this this is the different from each each and every genotypic representation that is dwarf and wrinkled another phenotypic ratio 
डॉर्फ विथ वरिंकलेट here represents a solid ball okay can you tell me what will be the phenotypic number of phenotypic for the tall and round this is the tall and round na 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 this is 9 and what will be the condition for tall with wrinklet that means circle here the circle is 1 2 and 3 that means phenotypic of tall with wrinklet the number will be 3 in this genotypic products what will be the number of dwarf and round that means star 1 2 and 3 and what will be the number of dwarf and wrinklet one look at this phenotypic condition the phenotypic condition will be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 this is the resultant the types of product will be occur in the da hybrid cross okay now what will be the ratio what will be the ratio phenotypic ratio phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio here it is a phenotypic ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 is it okay now what is the genotypic for all these products this is the capital t and capital r it is single in number because it will never found in all the other 16 products so here will be 1 is 2 let me tell you about this it is capital t capital t and capital r small r look at this type of genotypic representation it will show only here not any other so 1 is 2 2 and this is the capital t small t capital r small r this is representation here that means here circle and it is the circle part that is the and between this this is the single in number this is single in number so you have to write first two and two after that this is all four type of genotypic will be same you can see in here so here will be the number four okay where this is the capital t small t small r small r it is as completed under two products that means the product is one and product is two so it is the two and it is also single in number so two is to one and this is two in number and it is single in number that is the more complex but too easier to remember this is the mono sorry dihybrid cross that is the phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio if you want to remember one thing you have to remember like 12 12 4 21 21 it is too easy to remember is it okay now and one more thing if if you want to remember uh, if you want to find the number of genotype and number of phenotype from the formula now i am giving to you formula with you the formula for the obtaining the phenotypic and genotypic you have to remember of genotype or phenotype at least mono hybrid cross that means what will be the mon what is the mono hybrid cross and what is the phenotypic and genotypic ratio
mono type mono hybrid cross suppose it is the formula formula is for phenotypic it is not supposing here it is considering it is the formula and what will be the genotypic genotypic is 1 is 2 2 is 2 1 it is for the mono hybrid now this is the formula if the mono hybrid will here the n if the n if the n will be 1 that means it will be the applicable for the mono hybrid that is the 3 is to 1 3 is to 1 and if the di hybrid that means 2 that means multiplication of 3 is to 1 and 3 is to 1 3 3 is a 9 3 3 is a 3 1 is a 3 1 3 is a 3 and 1 1 is a 1 it is a simple and it is also 1 is to 2 is to 1 and 1 is to 2 is to 1 you you will find and you will be get this answer okay it was the dihybrid cross we will meet soon for the upcoming different types of cross that is test cross out cross and different cross we will make the next video very soon for that keep watching and stay tuned take care bye bye